Hey, mobility gurus, are you guys having trouble logging into your Android Zero Touch portal or getting errors specifically in Google Chrome saying you cannot, you can't log in? Ever since my Android Zero Touch walkthrough in my how-to video, I've gotten a lot of feedback from users saying they're having a lot of errors when trying to log in. In today's video, nothing fancy here, but I just want to show you some workarounds or, or different methods to be able to log into at the Android Zero Touch portal leveraging your Google Chrome browser. So one of the reasons why we're having so much trouble is the Google Chrome browser wants to leverage the account that it's logged into. So you see here, I'm logged in with my own personal account. So that's when we're logging into the partner.android uh, dot com forward slash zero touch it wants to try to leverage that account on the browser you can try to re sign out and, and log in as the admin account but it doesn't always work so uh, i have two methods that i recommend doing the first is the easiest just open up a new inco incognito mode window and go to partner.android.com forward slash zero touch the reason why i don't specifically like that is um Every time we open up an incognito mode window, we have to go through the sign-in process every time. It doesn't cache or save that, that username and password. And I'm pretty lazy uh, and I go into the Android Zero Touch portal uh, daily. So I just don't wanna go through that every single time and open up an incognito mode. So what I actually recommend is the second method here. So I'm gonna close my incognito mode and in, in Google Chrome, it actually allows you to add multiple users. So I can go here and hit add, uh, and then go through this process and log in with your admin uh, Android Zero Touch account. Once you do that, um, you'll have a separate session. So you see here, I've got, I've already got my Android Zero Touch portal already set up here. So I just open it up and it opens up a second browser window. In Google Chrome, it's great at remembering and, and syncing your settings across. Here's all your bookmarks and such, but more importantly, when I can, quickly access, access my Android Zero Touch portal. It, it already remembers my password, so I don't have to re-log in anything. So that's a method that I recommend just because it, it's it's easier just to open up a second window and just kind of have some of that isolation between your Chrome browsers. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Please let me know if you're still running into different error when you're using any of these two methods. Um, most of the time this, this does the job, but I have seen a couple people still having some problems. The biggest thing I would say for you is make sure it's partner.android.com forward slash zero touch. If you use the URL partner dash partner dash dot google.com, it still might give you some errors. So make sure you bookmark it as partner.android.com forward slash zero touch. I've just seen more success with that, with that URL, uh, when we're using any of these two different methods. So I hope that helps, but more importantly, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Take care. Bye.